Good evening, this is Kieran Rye here reporting for Filmmakers London 2023. Today we're at the Rory Peck Awards 2023 in the BAFTAs in London where all the most senior journalists around the world, world editors, news editors, senior photographers are here today, going to be picking up their award. We're going to be having exclusive interviews all night tonight at the BAFTAs in London. Stay tuned for the Filmmakers London 2023 Rory Peck Awards. <laughs> Good evening, we are at the Rory Peck Awards and we have Faisal. Faisal, good evening, how are you? I'm good, thanks, Kevin. Very good to see you, sir. You. Very well. Faisal, what does, um, just to start off, what does the Rory Peck Awards mean to you? Well, I've worked at every major British news broadcaster. I'm right from the beginning of my career when I came from newspapers into TV at Channel 4 News ITN. Yep. It was drilled into my brain. The, I mean, the role is too small, but the kind of epic kind of artery system of all of our top journalism that is the role of freelancers right. and the role of Rory Peck within that right. and when I was at Channel 4 um, the celebration of the role of our freelance um, colleagues was kind of central to that and Rory Peck Trust has always been um, at the heart of that celebration and the safety of our freelance colleagues. And what do you hope that you know I mean, obviously, you've got amazing journalists here, you know, people making great stories, great content, etc. What do you hope people in the future get to learn about the Rory Peck Awards? You know, I, I'm really lucky to have been a staff uh, TV news journalist for my career. Um, but the different viewpoints, the different set of skills, the different supply chain into the industry you get with freelancers, and that the Rory Peck Trust helps to catalyze is so vitally important, mm. vitally important. And um, I hope that everybody understands the central role of Rory Peck Trust in encouraging that, in disseminating best practice, mm. in spreading just the utter excellence of the work that we've seen here tonight. Absolutely. Um, uh, and ensuring that freelancers are um, uh, protected, uh, cherished uh, and given the awards that they deserve tonight. Now, obviously, as a you know, you're you know, as a political journalist, you know, what's your opinion about today's politics? You know, Rishi Sunak, um, etc. Obviously, him being the first Brit first Indian Prime Minister is great, but there has to be more than that. What's your opinion? Ah, uh, well, you see, this is where a TV and employed staff news journalist. Obviously, I have. You know, it's a trick question. I have no opinion. Right. However, um, you know, clearly, we cover a lot of we cover a lot of dom domestic stories. Feel like they're vitally important. Right. The most important thing. Right. The minutiae of what's happening in the political system. Who's uh, resigning? Who's up? Who's down? I, I did that for five years. I now do economics, and also, you know, the numbers going up and down. All that stuff is really important. But do you think he's doing well for our country? I doubt he's... <laughs> You're a journalist. I'm a BBC News journalist. It's just like, I'm just not going to answer that, am I? That's very good. Not going to answer that. Yeah. But uh, um, uh, what, I mean, reframe the question. I'm also asking another thing. Do you yeah. also think, you know another thing, right? We're both Asian journalists, right? Right. We both come from a very diverse background. Yeah. Do you feel that there should be more encouragement for Asian journalists to be in the newsrooms. Listen, I think representation is very important in the newsroom right. of every different background, ethnicity, social background. Yeah. That's really important. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting question though, which is what do you then do with those experiences when you go into a newsroom, yeah. right? Do, you, do they stay within your blood? and they just kind of apply to everything that you see. And there are a set of experiences that help, um, that help kind of like um, in the, make sure that news is balanced right. and representative. Right. Or do you sort of represent a specific point of view? Right. I think one of the key things about journalism is the capacity for total empathy with any point of view. I do think that's important. So when I, when I speak to younger journalists, 
probably younger than yourself, yeah. but as we see hunger journalists, I'm like, you do have to be able to think, you know, what's your gut instinct about a story? Oh, 100%. What's, you know, what about the thing that you don't think is your gut instinct? Absolutely. And how do you get to that point? Yeah. And even if in the back of your brain you don't like it, yeah. can you explain why someone's got there? So it's an interesting, you know, we all bring different stuff to the yeah. party. We do. But uh, it, it, caution about being defined by that. Really? That's what I'd say. And also, what's, what latest stories are you working on? Well, literally today, I was on the 6 o'clock news, and I'm going to be on the 10 o'clock news, talking about inflation. And I went, and, and so this is an interesting challenge, which is, how do you make that story big? As big as it is, it's massively important. Every, every household is obviously affected by high prices that are now coming down again. Government claiming it's all on them. They did it. They halved the inflation rate. Um, so I went six hours to the west, to the far tip of Wales, and waited for the massive tankers of gas to come from Peru. And I waited, and I waited, and there was a storm, and I waited for about two days till it came. Mm. So that's what I did, to show just how dependent we are on this island, on what happens, in this case, in South America, and the price of gas coming to us on the warming of our homes. That's what I do, and I'm in awe. That seems quite safe, even though it was cold and windy and wet in West Wales, mm. compared to the brilliant freelance journalists that are here, um, I take my hat off. Faisal, thank no you very much, sir. Take care. Thank you very much Bye. for your time. Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thank you. No worries.